Hey guys, I hope you're having a great week. Well, I wanted to show you my garbage chair. The neighbors put it out for the garbage and I picked it up because I think it's kind of cool. I am going to look into finding out how to clean velvet, but other than being a little dirty and having a slight damage on the arms, I think it's in pretty good shape and I really like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I have some tidying up that I'm going to do. In this mid-century room, I need to move the table back to where it usually lives, put some stuff away, and then I'm going to move the original rug back into the living room because I like it better in there than the lighter rug that I have now. Plus, the lighter rug just won't lay flat. So in the living room, I just need to tidy up a bit. I'm not going to do too much in there, but before I do any of that, I am going to put some flowers that my daughter gave me for Valentine's Day in some water. I'm not great at arranging flowers, but I'm going to try. So I've had a really difficult week. I feel like I'm just a hot mess and I can't quite get it together. I think a lot of what I'm struggling with is because of high functioning anxiety. And while these videos that I make are mostly to share with you what I get accomplished in our 100 year old home after we moved here, it's also about my struggles with mental health. See, after moving to Oklahoma, I had a year and a half long stressful situation that I feel like I'm just now recovering from. I have my good days and my bad days, and there are times when I feel like I lose all the progress that I made, but I am determined to keep moving forward. I say a lot in my videos progress, not perfection, and that's because I tend to get a perfect picture in my mind of how things should be, but when they don't turn out the way I'd imagined, it causes me a lot of anxiety, and I can also regress back into a depression. But my anxiety can also help me be more productive and more organized. I just have been having to have realistic expectations of myself. But sometimes I feel overwhelmed, and then I just shut down and avoid what I need to do. I also have seasons where I struggle with getting my brain to shut off and just enjoy things in the present moment. My mind is constantly reliving scenarios and thinking about things I need to get done and how I'm going to do it. And all of this can sap a lot of enjoyment out of my life if I let it. And so I am having to concentrate on not thinking about things, if that makes sense. Does anyone else have the same problem where you just can't turn your brain off long enough to enjoy anything? A lot of what I'm trying to do here with this channel is to show you a realistic attempt at creating a nice home by someone who struggles with anxiety. Anxiety is tricky and it can be overcome, but I find that I have to do a lot of self-talk 
in order to move away from unrealistic expectations of myself and the need to get everything done right now. I've learned that I just have to take it one step at a time, one day at a time. And I'm learning to celebrate my successes, no matter how small, even if it's just taking 20 minutes to clean the bathroom. I'm learning how to forgive myself for mistakes and that it's okay to take the time that I need to rest and recover. I think self-care is something that I definitely could be better at. If you're interested in learning more about high-functioning anxiety, check out the link to the video in the description box below by Brainy Dose. It's been very helpful for me, and I hope it's helpful for you too. I had a basket of laundry that needed to get folded and put away. I have a really bad habit of taking the laundry out of the dryer, then forgetting about it for several days. And I'm going to get this load taken care of, and then I'm going to start another one, and I hope I'll be caught up with all the laundry by this weekend. I hope I'm not the only one that does this. Do any of you guys do the same thing, or is it just me? Vitamins and history books Psychology and a different way to look at it all Cause my perspective is broken If suffering's a way to earn your key I better start putting miles on my feet. I'm going to rearrange the living room again. I think the bigger chair will look better on the left and the smaller chair on the right. So after that, I'm going to switch out the rugs. And then I'm just going to tidy up a bit. And my plan is to clean the hardwood floors this weekend throughout the entire house. But for right now, I'm just going to quickly tidy up the living room.
Well, the living room is straightened up, and I didn't do anything major, but it definitely feels nicer in there. I just wasn't up to doing any major cleaning on this day, so I just did a little bit. I think the garbage chair actually looks nice in here, and I'm not sure I'm crazy about the throw pillow I put on it, but I can figure out something different in the future. In the mid-century room, I had to pick up all of Buddy's toys. He scatters them everywhere. And once I put them all away in the toy basket, he immediately pulls them all out again. It's like a game to him. And I'm going to lay out this rug again to see if it will flatten out, and then move the table to its proper place and straighten up in here. The curtain rods that were the wrong size for our bedroom need to be returned, and I'll package them up this weekend, but for now, they'll have to live on the floor. Well, even though it's been a rough week, I didn't let things get too out of hand. I really didn't feel like doing anything, but if I just get up and do a few things, I feel much better. Thank you all so much for sharing this time with me, and if you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing. Till the next one.